I feel like the volume. I feel like the volume on this is gonna be great. You had like hardcore podcore podcoid hard hard hardcore podcast voice in that video that you sent me a long time ago. I keep threatening that I'm gonna have a I don't even know if that's recording me. I keep threatening that I'm gonna start a podcast and Ryan hates it. And so I recorded like ten minutes of me talking in my cell phone. You know the dude with the blonde hair, babe? It's a lot of dudes with blonde hair. Everything no the crazy wild bill guy, but Brother Buck is what they call him. I go, whoa, a seven footer! Every time. <laughs> um, so with podcasts, do you just talk right into the mic? Yeah, so I was like. <clears throat> He's probably not even recording. Do you have the mic on, you idiot? Let's see what the goodies are from last trip. Jalapeno Pringles. Want some scrap? God, is the best at getting gas stations in the video that have the town's name and everything, like like coordinates and everything where we're going to bowfish. I'm glad I sold my airboat. I think it'll be good. I mean, it's a place that that Ryan and them have really talked up. So, well, I mean, the last, the newest one, it isn't going to be bad though because it it starts off a little different. We have to cut the gas station out. Sorry. when Paige comes. I don't understand it. So I'm trying to add some coolant, but uh, I gotta let the pressure off here. It's sitting right there. I think we got the, the problem solved. It was an air pocket, I believe, inside the uh, inside the motor. We got fish everywhere. Yeah. Look at all these gar. That's a stud. That's a big one right all there. All right, put that down. Start shooting fish. Hashtag airboat life. Rookie airboat life. Hashtag I'm never coming on the boat ever again. Just don't Star leave loose items. 
to where the prop can suck up clothing and trash and whatnot because uh, we were coming through here it was super shallow and uh, had to get on pad a little bit and get down on it and Pates was yelling at us of course we can't hear nothing and uh, the her jacket got sucked into the prop or into the belt and busted the, the belt flew off somewhere in this water and uh, that's why I'm pantless because I was searching through it and we don't have an extra belt on the this is this is good good times Paige this is TV we're, we're having good times Paige, I thought at one point Paige was about to cry I did I it's gonna get another 20 degree hotter you know by sitting there right, right. So, and, and then it'll take you know probably 15 minutes to cool down right so yeah at least get I mean, you're gonna get 30 45 seconds run out of it Really, what I would do is there's no rain coming tonight. Either try and lift it back to the thing, or I would just drive it up on the bank and put a rope, to, tie the rope to something, whether it's a big boulder or a tree or whatever. Walk to the truck, go home, start first thing in the morning, go back and get it. Get back up by 9 a.m. All right, so Ryan's putting his pants back on, and what we think that we can do is the shirt got wrapped up completely in the belt and from what we gathered the belt flew off into the abyss and pretty much what we can do is the boat will come down to about 150 degrees in temp and we can run it back up to about 190 to 205 kill the boat try to drift um, we think that right now we're in a really bad shallow spot you can see it from you know the video and our best bet is to just try to limp it back killing it. I mean, we're three miles from the truck. It's probably going to take several hours, but it's better than sitting here all night. The other option is is we try to drive close enough to a road, get try to get the boat up on the bank far enough that what we'll do is just tie it up and then walk to the road and then try to walk back to the truck, which the way that we would have to walk around would take a really long time, but that's better than just sitting here or trying to find somebody with an airboat and hope for the best. So, right now, this is what we're going to do. Hop in the boat, gas it, and we'll see what happens. Oh, God. You video? Kyle's like, put those bibs on. If you cinch them up real good, they'll, they'll keep you dry. I was like, there's money on the deck. Yeah, that. Me and Paige have a bet going on that she gets another jacket sucked in the prop. <laughs> it was an accident. She feels really bad. <laughs> I've got the perfect plan. Hey, we could probably wake more behind us. <laughs> Alright, you better shoot something. I know that. What are you doing there, folks? Freezing my legs off right now. Hey, which way do I need to go? I'm about to break bread. Refuel. Warm up a little bit. Son, I told you this was gonna hit the spot right here. Like it's like moments like this that build character. Me and Ryan actually told her we're proud that she's here with us. Without moments like this, you wouldn't be anybody that's boat fished. Would you be willing to say this? Anyone that's boat fished has been where we are. I would like a Coke Zero right now, though. Kyle, come on now. We're making lemonade. We called JJ. I was like, hey, dude, um, how far are we? He goes, well, you're, you're three kilometers from the truck. I mean, the guy's using Google Maps. All he has to do is read miles. Why? Could you figure out why he was saying kilometers? But it's just better than everybody else. Have you ever read Moby Dick? <coughs> Moby Dick, the book? Huh? Yeah, the, the main guy in the book's name is uh, Ishmael. So where does Moby Dick come in? Well, it happens when they go chasing a big whale. Oh. And then the big whale wrecks the ship. And then they stuck out on the ocean. And then he goes, Moby Dick! <laughs> 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 oh, I'm in him. Ah! No, I'm Oh, I pulled out. Oh, good shot, bud. Oh, 
Look, y'all may have a good friend, but y'all don't have a friend getting in 50 degree weather, water, and pushing the boat so you can shoot fish, good friend. been a lot worse too. Yeah. Luckily we have friends that have airboats and they I'm still a rookie so I uh, it was a rookie mistake not having an extra belt on the boat but I guarantee I'll have several from now on. I don't feel as good as Ryan and I didn't push the boat the whole time. I don't know what he's on. If you like this video like and subscribe actually hit that like button make sure and hit the subscribe button and we're gonna Try to make a bunch more of these, but hopefully none with the boat getting broke down. I guess this is us gonna end it. I'm gonna do it with the old trusty hat. Here we go. I don't really like that ending. <laughs>